just a short clip to show you the diamagnetic capabilities of gold. Very similar to silver. The magnet does seem to pass over gold a little faster than silver. It's just the... Uh, well, that one was kind of off camera. We'll do that one more time. Make sure I can see what we're doing before we do it. Oh, we got caught on Lady Liberty that time. Yeah, by comparison, we'll put the magnet just on a smooth piece of plastic. And we'll do the same, about the same angle. You just see how much quicker. Now where you can really see this demonstrated on a gold coin, and this is, I think, in 1998. Uh, $50 American Eagle, 22 karat gold. Um, where you can really see this test is when somebody has what's called a slide magnet, and it's six or eight inches long, um, very powerful magnet, quite expensive when they're at that size. And you'll see that they will take the coin and slide it all the way down. They'll put it at the top and let it slide down the slide. And then you'll see this very heavy gold coin actually going down the magnet at a very slow speed. So this little test that I do, which is just because that's what I have, you can still see the diamagnetic effect, but it's not really as uh, an amazing demonstration as when you see it on a magnet slide. And I have seen videos of people using a magnet slide, and it's really quite impressive, the difference between um, gold and silver and um, other metals or other items that don't have diamagnetic values and you'll see they slide at the speed of gravity whereas gold and silver um, are slowed down quite a lot by the, the diamagnetic uh, reaction. Thanks. That's it. Bye.